I'm going to show you exactly how to make infographics in Canva. The perfect way to turn boring data into eye-catching visuals that people actually pay attention to. Whether you're a student, business owner, or content creator, Canva makes it super easy for you to design professional looking infographics in just minutes. And if you stay until the end, I'll also share how to access our totally free Canva crash course so you can keep learning more after this. Let's dive in. First, head on to your Canva account, then click on create right here and on the search bar, type in infographic. And you'll see different formats available. You can go with a portrait, landscape, or even square. But in this tutorial, we're just sticking to a classic portrait infographic since it works best for step-by-step -step guides, reports, and social media sharing. Now, once you have your blank canvas, head over to designs on the left-hand panel. This is where Canva really shines. In the search bar, type in a keyword related to your topic. For example, digital marketing, healthy lifestyle, or education. Canva will instantly pull up dozens of ready-made infographic templates already designed with layouts, colors, and visuals. Pick one that best fits your content and it'll instantly appear onto your canvas. Next up, it's time to customize your infographic. Let's start with the visuals. Go to uploads to bring in your own logo, images, and brand graphics. Then what you want to do is to drag them onto the placeholders. If you don't have your own, Canva has thousands of premium and free elements you can use. Just head over to the Elements tab on the left-hand panel and search for icons, charts, or illustrations, then drop them right into your design. I suggest using icons because this would make your design more memorable. After that, Update the text content. Double click on any text box and type in your information. Try to keep it short and digestible. Use bullet points, key phrases, and numbers. Infographics aren't meant to be essays. They're meant to simplify complex ideas and make them easy to scan at a glance. For example, instead of writing 75 people prefer visuals, just write 75% prefer visuals and pair it with a graphic. You can also play around with charts and graphs inside Canva. Go to elements, search for charts, and choose a bar chart, pie, or line graphs. Then just click on whatever you want to choose and it'll instantly appear onto your canvas. This is a great way to turn your raw data into visuals that actually make sense to your audience. Now, once your infographic looks good, it's time to export and share it. Click on share in the top right corner and choose a format. If you need it for printing, go with PDF print for the best resolution. But if you're using it online like presentations, email newsletters, or social media posts, Download it as PDF standard or PNG. PNG is especially great for platforms like Instagram or LinkedIn. Just a quick tip, stick to two or more main colors and one or two font max. Too many colors or font styles can make your infographic look cluttered and unprofessional. Keeping it consistent makes your design look clean and polished. If you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my video to other people who want to learn Canva in the easiest way. And as promised, if you want to access our totally free Canva crash course, just check out the pinned comment down below. And that's it. You just learned how to create an infographic in Canva from scratch. Customize it with your own content and export it online or print a physical copy. Now you can take data that people usually ignore, then turn them into visuals that truly stand out. I'll see you in our next video.